saying that's a painting or that's a picture. Hey, da. Ryu da. Sore, sore, grai. Sore, grai wa. Wa karte. Onna. Nani, nana no. Nan no. Nan. Nan. No, eh? Ryuda. Um, that much I've understood. Uh, what kind of picture? Dragon. Uh, I see. But I, I, she got that. No, she, she got that. Hi, so I got that. Perfect. E no zen dai or zen tai o mita. I stepped back and I saw the entire picture. Ryute dobutsu dragon. Are those, is that a drag? Is that a animal? Right. Uh, nebari wa. Karada, no, not Karada. Uh, hon o tochita. Uh, nobody closes the book. Kozo, hon to ni nani mo shiranan no dana. Boy, you really don't know anything. Ha. Uh, hi, hi. Sono tori you. Desuyo. Uh, yes, yes, as you've said. Um Ryu to wa kyodai na tokage no yo na mono da. A dragon is a, a frightening lizard. It's like a frightening lizard. Hi, um, Kyodai is not frightening. Let's go look at the kanji. Do you know what dai means? Oh, uh, it's large, so, uh, enormous. So, so. It's an enormous lizard. Hi. It's like a thing that is an enormous lizard. Right. Uh, to, tosaka to, tsubasa to, tsuno ga atte, hi o fukumono ga oi, sato, tosaka, tosaka is um, a crown. A crown or a crest, I'm sorry, I a crest. crest, wings, horns they have, and some breathe fire. Perfect. Nebari no hanashi o kiku uchi ni susu ma mire no e no. Nakani Nevari no Tetsune Dori no Ikimono ga Ukabi agate kita Ukabi agate kita Nebari no hanashi o kiku uchi ni. While nebari was, while I was listening I... to no. nebari speaking, the, from the, from the middle of the picture, Cover or smear with soot. Um, 
nevari no tsetsume dori no ikimono ga a creature a living thing as described as described by nevari ukavi agate kita it rises into it emerges rises into existence it emerges. I got. But literally, it, it is it. to it... rise up. It's a literal, but in English, to emerge is the idea that we get through here. Um. So naka. Hi. What does naka mean? I feel like that's a hard word for people. Naka. Naka. Wait. Wait. <laughs> You translated it, it earlier like the as the word middle. It Hi, doesn't it really sounds... mean the word middle. If you want to say middle, you'd use a different word like chu xin. Oh, I don't know. Xin. Like there, there's many ways to say middle. Um, chu xin is one of them. No. But naka does not mean middle. That's actually not one of the meanings. Unless you're talking about middle school, which is chu gaku. That's the only time to actually means middle. Every other time, it's actually going to mean something else, which is related to the meaning of middle, but it's actually not interchangeable. Hence the act that to sheen exists to mean the center or middle of something. So what do you think naka means? For example, you might say Just... gakko no naka. Susumamire no e no naka ni. The painting, the picture that is smeared with su no naka ni. So naka means in. It does not mean a middle. So gakko no naka ni <laughs> does not mean at the center point of the school. It means inside of the school or kaba no naka ni. Does not refer to the middle section of the bag, but inside of the bag. Because naka means inside. So this is in the I... painting. So it's not saying at the center area of the painting there's some soot. It's saying um, inside of the painting, we can see a picture of a animal popping out of it. It is floating out. So naka means inside. Not middle. I, I just think that's a important Hi. thing to do. I can't say the word. Oh, I left the wrong button. Hi. Okay. Uh, do you have to know what detsumetsu means? It's the first time we've seen this in this book. Detsumetsu. That's a means um extinction. 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 And um for the reading level of this book, it's actually expected that the person reading the book might not also know what the word extinction means, because nobody gives us a definition um pretty soon with what detsumetsu means. But first off, what did it start with? It ended with metsu. Perfect. That's it, that's it, no, that's it. Can you read this line for me? Kyoryu. Kyoryu wa zetsumetsu shita. Kyoryu. Kyoryu. The dinosaur extinct. Yeah, the extinct. dinosaur are extinct. Perfect. Do you know what tazunere means? Tazunere. Oi kakete. Ore wa oi kakete tazunere. The oi kakete is not super useful as these are two separate verbs occurring at about the same time. Um, and a so the whole phrase is ikisaki mo ihonai wake doko ni ikun da yo ore wa oikakete tazuneta 
I I ask. Hi. I, I yeah. I ask him. Yep. Tazuneta from Tazuneru means to ask. Perfect. This word starts with detsu. What did it start with? What did it end with? Metsu. Perfect. Detsu metsu. Now you get to go read the line from the book. Daga. Ryuwa. Zetsumetsu shita. Zetsumetsu shite. To. Tazuneru. Maeni. Nebari ga. Setsume shite kureta. However, uh, start with the first line. Right. Oh yes, never mind. Daga is <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Daga. Dragons are extinct. Uh hi. Extinct before ask. Before I ask, never explain to me. Right. And was he happy about it or sad about it? He's happy. Could it? He, yep. he was done. He was given an, a, a favor. <clears throat> yep. Perfect. Yep. Tired. Um. I'm pretty sure Taeru means to um go instinct. The verb for that. To do detsumetsu. Um can you read this for me? Shinda sakana sakana. Sakana hai. Sakana. 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 Perfect. Can you read this for me? Shinda. Shini. Hi. As far as I can tell, shini taeru and just taeru alone have the same meaning, which means to die out, to become extinct. Um, and just this one says to die out to death. This makes it more blatantly obvious what we're talking about versus possibly meaning to be stopped or something. Um, can you read this for me? Hi. Many tsuru. Hi. So this is to do your eye, which means to catch sight of something. Many suru. To get something to jump in the eye. Catch sight. Um, can you read this example sentence for me? Sono ikimono wa shini tairai no de any suru koto ga ariari arieru yo. That living creature, that living thing, Sinitai no de, have not gone extinct. Therefore, um, Ari eru yo. Ari eru means to be able to do, basically, it's possible. It's possible to see them. Hi, exactly. It's possible, possible to catch sight. Hi. Uh, you know, read... Yes, it's. Hi. Uh, Q, Q me. Kyo me. Kyo me. Meaning, um, interest. Perfect. Uh, I have an interest or something. Hi. How about this word? Do uh, we mean caution or cautious or Perfect. to do caution? Hi, hi, hi. Um, this word right here, kon rin zai, means not ever. Kon rin zai. And it is a adverb. Can you read this word? Hi. Hi, e e um, e me. 
Hi, Amy. What does Amy mean? Con yeah. Um, con con rin zide. Yeah, con rin the, the, zide. The first kanji is not kin. Not yep, it's gold. con. Otherwise, I would have given you gold to make you read it. Is it gold? I is I don't know what your question gold? is. It is the character for Okane. You're is right. It kane? Yes, but it a golden re a golden uh, wheel is konrin. Hi, konrin, Zai. And Zai is what's that last character? Um, on the occasional, I think. Let's see what is Zai? Yep, it's occasion. All together, it means. On the occasion of a altogether. golden hoop. On the occasion of the golden hoop, and altogether it meant it meant um not ever. Then then the not night. ever. Okay. Never happened. Not not nope. ever. Nope. Con Zero percent. Hi. Con Linzai. Hi. Con Linzai. Hi. Wakata. Sorry, interrupt. Oh, good. Uh, it's probably Amy, because I think I... it. I'm sorry. What does Amy mean? Um, I think Amy means um, like taste. Good guess. Good guess. It means meaning. Taste is aji. Meaning hi. Aji. Hi. Hi. Taste, which is just that kanji. Amy. So when you do the taste of consciousness, it becomes meaning. Amy. Hi. Amy. Um, can you read this for me? This is not a fact right here, but it's kind of close to a fact. Read it. Con 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 binzai to you know wa tetsu tetsu dai to onaji imida. Hi. So this word right here, we have tetsu plus tai. That is correct. Hi. Tai starts with a t sound, which is voiceless. So if you read rendaku, that would turn into da. There's no rendaku here because these are both married readings. So it's ta, which is voiceless. Do you know what happens to t when it's right behind a voiceless sound? Hi, uh, it becomes glottal stop. Hi, hi, a glottal stop. Oh. So, Dai. Detsumetsu became Dettai. As in Zettai ni. Hi. Never. Zettai yeah. ni means, uh, it actually means like 100%. It's kind of the opposite, but they're like also the same. Just Zettai is 100% and that can be used negatively and Konrin is also like 100% when used negatively. But this one's always negative. And that die is kind of positive, if that makes sense. Like I'll I one hundred percent will never meet you again. You can use either. So they're they're kind of the same word. Die me. You just and I. I will not forget. Do you do you know what? So the sentence say that. Konrin zai. In other words, do you know what? In other words. Is the same meaning with to. Zettai to onaji imida. Same meaning with zettai. Hi. What does no mean? It's the nominalized, nominalized, no, it's a pronoun in this case. In this case, it it's takes a pronoun. the. Hi. It's basically pronoun. In the place of Imi. So it's saying, To you know, meaning that which mean, Hi. or in, in other words, the meaning is yeah. the same meaning with Zetai. Hi. Hi. Something like that. Yes, perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay. Now you get to go read the line from the book. Zetsumetsu to you know wa 
死に耐えたという意味だ。生きた理由を目にすることは、混輪在ありえん。In other words, ありえない。はい。Nobody is giving the definition of 絶滅というのは。So he's saying that which is Yeah, no is basically that. So, yeah. In other words, that, that which is, is defined or, as detimetu is or extinction. Is shini taita to you imida. It means that it's gone, like all had died. Hi. All die. And a living dragon, Ikita, Ikita Ryu, that, that dragon there is basically a short relative clause being yes. described by Ikita in the, in the Ta form describing Ryu, meaning a living dragon. Right. Yep,、oh, we have、Mark、two relative the... clauses in this sentence. Right. So then it continues to say, Many tsuru koto, the thing that is, that can jump in front of your eyes. In other words, the thing that you can catch a glimpse of,、right. that is gon rinzai ari e nai. Never gonna happen. Exactly. Perfect.、We'll、never be. Exactly. Nice. Yep. This describes that, which all of that is describing that. I feel like this Gon Rin Zai is some、Hi. sort of a cultural reference. Like in our、mm-hmm. parlance, it would be not a chance in hell. Yeah, I bet. In other words, never going to happen. Yeah. But here they use the image of a golden ring as in. So like, it's not. You're never going to get a golden ring. <laughs> yep. On the, yep. There's. <laughs> Likely, it's happening is getting a golden ring. Definitely, like, probably. Like you, get a, like, you peasant are going to get a golden ring ever. <laughs> you, you barely have enough rice to eat. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> Not going to、uh, happen. Stop dreaming. Do you know what an agal is? This would have been something we saw back in chapter one.、Um, agal? It had the kanji for breath. Does it? Yeah, well, the、so、right side is a, ha- is, a, is, a, is, a, is a head or a neck. That's good. And the left side is like breathe out. Oh, not very,、uh, that's not helpful at all for knowing the meaning. I, go, I don't know, m o n y is it facial hair? It's close to that. It showed up in the word for facial hair in the story. The facial hair was. Ago, hige, with hige meaning whiskers or facial hair. Ago means、uh, chin. chin. Hi, ago. And Hi. this word, shakuru, which is a u verb, means to ladle. And it's used in the next context like to jerk.、Um, so in English, we'd say, I jerk my ago. Is a saying, but in Japanese, it's I ladle my ago. But this means to use your ago in order to point towards something. My dog does it all the time. Wait, to point? This、yes. shaku is to. Wait, wait. No. You, he, to jerk one's、yes. chin is to、yes. point it at a direction? Yeah, that's what that means in English, doesn't it? To jerk your chin? Yeah. What else would it mean? To jerk your chin. It's like look, you, you, you moved it very quickly, right? Yeah. You, you do like a little, like, a you do like a、movement. weird up kind of movement with your head towards something. Be like, hey,、right. you, gotta, you gotta go talk to that guy. It's a way to indicate <laughs> something. Hi,、right, hi.、Um, right. You kind of you kind of gesture with your, with your, with your, um, 
neck with your chin a little bit there, like with your mm -hmm. face. Hi. Meaning go ahead. It, it can Try mean that. It, or give... it, it depends yeah. on the context. My dog jerks her um, chin to ask for cookies, uh, little uh, biscuits, because her biscuits are up high. So she'll make eye contact with you and do like a head jerking thing. <laughs> hey, hey, give, give hey. me the treats, lady. Uh, <laughs> so there's, <laughs> there's multiple meanings of this word. <laughs> hi, hi. Um, ago o kabe no ho ni shaku da. So it said, um, uh, kabe kabe no ho ni shaku da. I jerk my chin. Or the chin towards the direction of the wall. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Um, kabe giwa, kabe giwa. Yep, is and it? that is the same kanji as on occasion from kon rinzai. Um, kabe giwa means basically against the wall. Against the wall. That means soba, right? This right one next from the last kanji giwa is the same as from konrinzai. Yeah, konrinzai. Hi. But this means on occasion, but the, it can also mean edge. Um, normally if it's zai, it means occasion, and giwa means edge. So if you say like um. There's other words with giwa on it, like there's like river bank and stuff uses giwa or someone being suspicious. So depending on the reading, it um insinuates different meanings for this kanji. Hi, single person. Giwa. Hi. That is against the Lean wall. Against the wall. Against the um, wall. Um you know what te midu means? Like te form plus midu. Te midu. Try to Hi. Like it's attached to the te form of the verb. So Hi. it's the attempt to do the thing. Hi, perfect. How about te niedu? Te miedu is the te miedu is to to be attempted on. Good guess. This so isn't is um a on... I don't believe this is a Pacific grammar point. Miedu means um to be seen. So this would just probably be a random verb and then to be seen afterwards. So it it it's not. I don't think this is an official grammar point. Uh, I'm I just have that there to confuse you. How about the next one? Hi. Te miset miseru. Hi. This one it does have a meaning. To. Hey, um, causative form plus the te. So it's to to give it a try or to make an attempt. Perfect. Um, that is totally wrong, actually. So you just said the make to attempt was midu, right? Misedu, which was to cause, means to show, to make someone see, right? Midu means to look. In this context, means to try, but when you turn the kanji to look and to to make someone look right, causative form, it then becomes to show. So it means you do an action in a way that shows them what you're doing. Hi. <laughs> so show to show me. Um, do you know how to read this word? Show. Uh, shodana is a bookcase. So let's go read this line. Uh, nebari wa mata hon o hi hiraki. Uh, kabe 
ビワに並んでいる。並んでる商談の方へ。あごをしゃくして。のしゃくて。見せて。To show me your. What's the first thing he does,、jerk? though? He never walk, he da. Never walk, mata, home, o Hiraki. Not from Hiraku. Never continue. Hiraku. Never he continues to open the book. It does mean to open, that is correct. Does not mean continue though, that'd be Tuzuku. Ah,、uh, he. Oh, I guess Mata means once、it. again. Sorry. <laughs> the conti- the, once again you're、open. right, that continuing can kind of insinuate. I, I just didn't really have that in my head as continuing. <laughs> I forgot. I, I think Mata, I mean, he did it one more time, or it、yeah. could be that. It, it just means once again. It means so. Like it's still in that state of he still o p e n it. That'd be Mada. Like Mata, Mata is like not yet, not yet, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. This is Mata. No no voicing there. In general, it's pretty obvious what, what meaning is this going to have. If it's ma- it doesn't matter if it's Mata or Mada、um, by context. Because、uh, they're not, there's never really an occasion where you'd use one versus, like, there's never a time where you can use mata and replace it with mada. So, even if you are shaky on them, you can literally just think about what would logically make sense. Nobody just closed the book. Why would he still be opening it? But there's no logic in there. Hi.、Um, especially with the stem form right here, that's not opening, that is, he opened, right? Because we have this, is, this is, the tense is down here. So it says, Nobody opened book, and we're describing it as he's doing something. It can't be he is still opened book. That, that doesn't have meaning in English, right? So he once again、uh, opened book has meaning.、Um, so that, that's I, what I mean that mata and mada, they're never in the same. You can guess by context, even though they are different words. You just have to step back and think, What does the sentence say? Without it, and then you can fill it in if it confuses you. Towards the direction of the bookshelf that is lining against the wall. Perfect. Ago o chin shakte miseta. He showed me his chin lift <laughs> towards the direction of also. <laughs> his, his chin jerk. Also. His, his, yep, his, so he jerks his, his chin. Opposite of a nod. <laughs> yep.、His、he basically he, he pointed at the, the thing using his face, <laughs> being like, do, do something, <laughs> boy. Because、uh, his hand is obviously full with the book he just opened. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll skip that. You know that word quite well. Do you know how to read this word? Meko, tan, tenjo. Hi, tenjo. What does tenjo mean? Ceiling. Perfect. And just to be mean, do you remember how to say decorated? Oh, boy.、Um, is the three syllable. Ca- No, two syllables, two syllables with the D at the end. First one is ka, ka, d. What could be that one? Kaburi, good guess, and it's ka, z. So you got the u sound. Ka, z. This is hard. I forget this one. Ka, z. Wait, no, that all sounds wrong. Oh, Kaza. Kazari. Kazari. Sorry, you didn't get any parts right. <laughs> I was like, boo, you got the o o right. No, sorry. 
Cause <laughs> I, I was like, this wait, one what is hard? It is that's... a uh, that's that's why I did it. I I knew it's a hard one, so I just want to throw it at you because it's a commonish word ver- versus uzumaki. Not as common. But kazari, anything that's decorated is going to have kazari described. Like, what if you go Christmas shopping in Japan? You're like, where is the kazari? Ah. You know, got it. important word. Uh, not in this book necessarily. Um, but it shows... What is going on? Oh. Kazari. Okay. Kazari. Now you get to go read the line from the book. Hi. Yuka kara tenjo made aru shodanani wa honga bishirito sumate ita ite zenbu hokori o kabute iru from the floor to the ceiling uh the the bookshelf so the bookshelf exists from the floor to the ceiling. Perfect. These are some tall ass bookshelves. Uh Honga Bichiri. Bichiri here referring to it being stuff. It it full of I... books. Yeah. To ma tosumate iru. It's Gathered together, it's sumate. Pause. Bishiri is a sound effect. And you just told me it went, meant what? And that they are so, um, they packed. It's yeah. packed. It's packed. So, packed in English is kind of a verb already. So, this this is modifying describing how the books have been tsumateitad. They've been tsumateitad so that they're packed. But what do you think tsumateitad means? Because these should be related. You don't have random onomatopoeias with verbs. There should be a link between the sound and the action. In general, you can normally ignore the sound and still have an idea what's going on because it's just describing the action, right? So what has happened to these books in the bookshop? You said they're packed. What does that mean for that verb then? If we got that the word. That verb, it's, it's, the, it's gathered together. It bundled up, I think. I guess. I guess it kind of means that. It's it's not how I would personally describe the word. I would describe tsumateru as the word packed. And bishiri as cramped, personally, because cramped is more of a description, while pack is more like you pack stuff onto the bookshelf. It just tomate do. There's no like wrapping and paper here, right? We didn't tutumu them, which the word you use for me personally makes me think of some kind of wrapping going on, like with string, like a, making a bundle of something or throwing it in a basket. But tomate do. Um, is basically the act of making it that something fits in a shelf or a box, right? It's something that has edges and this item is put in there. Um, and bishiri means there's no space between the items. So if you try to pull out one of the items, it's probably going to pull out multiple, right? So you pack the shelf till they're cramped is how I personally would describe that. Because you can have a full shelf Full of books um, that are all crammed together, but they could still be space. We just know there's no space between them. You got too many books. Uh, anyway, so what else other than being cramped on this bookshelf? What else is happening? Hi. Zenbu hokori o kabute iru. The entire section is covered with dust hi what what is the things that are covered in dust do you have any idea you right this does mean whole section but but what section are we referring to are we talking about the floor the ceiling con what what exactly by our context here of this one line is covered in dust 
the section of the shodana. Hi, the, you could the say whole that. Section of, Specifically, of, it's the books, because that's our subject here. Because zembe is a adverb describing kabuteru. So all are covered, right? All. All parts are covered. And we're describing the subject of the sentence, which are books. So all of the books that are crammed together on the bookshelf are covered in dust. Logically, the bookshelf should also be covered in dust. Um, but literally, it's focusing more on the books being covered in dust than the um, bookshelf itself. This is our subject. Um, do you know what ochitsuki means? That's always a hard word. Ochitsuki is calm down. Oh, no, no, it's not calm down. Uh, no, it does mean calm down. That is correct. That is one of the meanings of ochitsuki. Calm down. Um, peace at peace. It's yes. in a state of... It's not riled up. It's uh, Yes, it can mean at peace. It can mean calm down. Those are both the same meaning. Um, uh, if you want to do the like the stay at peace, you can actually add an extra thing to ochitsuku to specifically um insinuate that. I can't remember what, but you'd add like ochitsuku or something, ochitsuku. I don't know. Um, that sounds wrong. There's something you can add to it to make it. It's a three compound word to make it specifically staying calm. Um, the other meaning is to settle, like to settle down somewhere because you're calm and at peace. Um, here, specifically, it's the at peace, calm down meaning, which is they lost their calm. They lost their being at peace. Out of curiosity, do you know what mis uh, te misiru means? Te form plus miseru? Show, to, yeah, to show an action. To show, perfect. Do it for, for, um, for an audience. Hi, 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 hi. Yep, for someone, probably an, an audience. Um, do you know what shabete means? From shaberu. Shabete. 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 Is it speaking, Mani? It is. It is speaking. It's having a conversation. We're talking. Anything like that. Yep. Perfect. Toki, toki, toki. Um, what is the passive form of shaberu? Perfect. Nice. You got it perfectly right. Out of curiosity, because I feel like last time you did this wrong, do you remember what the potential form of this verb is? Just as a, because that rarely ever pops up in this book. So get some practice in there. <laughs> saberu. So, shaberu is dictionary. Saberu. Ah, hi. That is a good guess. It will be adding edu here, but we need to have a R sound. So, shabe redu. Shabe redu. Shabe redu. Okay. Yeah, that was just the double checking. That can be hard to remember. Um, Do you know what damaru means? Damaru. Damate ita. It means to be quiet. Perfect. Shut it. Shut it. To be doing the shut. And you did really great in Ochitsuki, so I'm going to skip that. Um, Do you remember the main difference of seeing nada and tara? Or if you know one difference between one of these? Just out of curiosity. They both mean if or when. But they have one little random thing that makes them stick out. Nada, ta, ta, ta. I think is nada is um is a hypothetical if if this hypothetical condition occurred, uh, then you get the following result. So if in Tada. general is hypothetical. But that is a good difference between these two because Tara is actually less hypothetical. So that is relatively correct. Um, but uh, 
So this is of more course. hypothetical. So that is one point. Um, I wouldn't say that's the biggest difference. The biggest difference Nada is that Nada is person specific. It's person if specific. you go to the party, then I will come as well. Rather than if Sam goes to the party, Michael will go to the party. It's it's more like like it's not like a law. It's just like a it's opinionated. Like oh, if it was going to rain, my mom should have told me would be a sentence that would use nada. Where you'd have an if, but you're talking about a specific human being and their specific and your specific thoughts with these people. It could be a group of people as well, but it just has this specificness that the others do not have. There's a there's a very big human element with nada. And do you have any I... idea what was my goal for Tara? Specifically with future events. Tara then it... future events. Let's see. So well, uh, specifically uh, things uh, in right. things in the world. Nada is things related to person and ta tada is things related to the world. Um, that's a good guess. But by future event with Tada, I would just give you a category word to see if you it dogged anything in your memory. But with Tada, it can be used to refer to the next time an event occurs. So, for example, to, to means always in future um, as, as a comparison with Tada. If you say um, uh, when summer comes, I go to Japan and you use to there. That means every time summer comes, you're always 100% of the time going to end up in Japan. Maybe you teleport. Maybe you're like a god or something. Who knows? It always happens. That that's what happens. If you use Tada in the sentence, every summer I go to if I go in the summer, I will go to Japan, then it just means this coming summer I am going to Japan. So Tada can be used for one for the next time the verb occurs. So it can be used for a one time event versus Nada, which is used for people specific events. Like people make an opinion okay. and that will be what will make my judgment space off of an opinion. Yeah, that's just what I wanted to do because um, you mentioned earlier that you wanted me to be doing that. <laughs> to be like randomly, Hi. oh, we're doing this. Let's it's... compare. Because it's always it's, just going to be if or it's... when in English. So it doesn't matter from the Japanese to English, but the opposite does matter because <laughs> of that. Weird yes, Molly, these this kind of exercise really helped because nice. it, it puts similar sounding words and similar grammar point next to each other and it, it gives it gives me a chance to really see the difference awesome Phew. good enough okay now you get to go read the line from the book hi okori o harae damate yaru no da zo becha Kucha she becha becha kucha is a sound effect. Hi, becha kucha shaberare tara ochitsuite homo yomen yomenai. Right. So this negative is kind of modifying both verbs here, just so you know. So it's not, I do this and can't do this. It means I can't do either of these. Just wanted to clarify that because I feel like this is the first time we've seen that and I could see that being confusing. He said, wipe away the dust. Harai. Right. Damate. Be quiet. Damate yaru, you be quiet. No da zo. He say, no da, meaning he nominalizing the yaru. So he 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 emphasizing the action of yaru. So he say he gave a strong command. Be quiet, okay? Right. 
um, he say, uh, I'm sorry, what it, what is it you wrote to the side of the, uh, I just wrote sound the effect. Um, bejakucha means, um, chattering or prattling. It's, um, blah, 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 blah. I just wrote the sound effect. If rare rare is potential, uh, no, passive. no, it's passive. If so basically, you start... if you doing this to me, basically, if you start chatting to me, right. if you start blah blahing to me again. Yeah. No, no, not not again. But what if you do so? Right. Um. Or chisuite. Yon homo yomenai. I cannot calmly read books. If I can't calm down and I can't read I cannot books. Calm. Read books. Money. I have a clarification here. Hi. So the author uses tara. Hi. Are you wondering why With they're not the using verb. nada? Well, yes. It, yeah, it, wonder... Tada is ta form plus da. Ta form plus da. Nada takes dictionary form. Iku nada. Um, so that that is a grammatical difference. Um, so that that's just how that grammar point works. It's always ta form plus da. It just is called tada because it can just say da on its own. That's too hard to Google. <laughs> so they're just like call it tada uh, versus nada. Flat, so easy. Whole name. Boom. So sometimes with um grammar points in Japanese, it will be like uh, temo, for example, is a grammar thing you could Google, but it's mo plus te form. It's not actually temo being added to anything. But if you just Google mo, the thing that's going to pop out is also mo which is related to this but um a lot of times you'll be getting an extra thing added to these um grammar points because otherwise it's too hard to google them so tada is called tada rather than being calling ra because ra is too short um that's why also why no de will show up but it's not adding no and de it's da with no being added to it right um the this is not its own thing. These these are two different things, um, versus nada, which is one thing and yo. Uh, so I think that was part of your question, right? Hi. Hi. So yeah, this means if. So it means like right now. If you're talking to me right now, I cannot come down and read the book. So that's how it's using as a future event in that way, um, versus nada. Nada, um, right here would mean only if you are talking, then I can't calm down. If Bennett walked in the room and he was also shabbatting, I'd be dazzled. <laughs> but right, the Tada is making it more. We're talking about the current time. It's more focusing on time than on the person doing the action, especially with the Dareru, which is saying I talking where it's like I am being spoken to I am hearing the Shabbat lot of doing from you um so if I'm spoken to I cannot concentrate right now is basically what he's saying with the Tara well, he's saying don't do it right I can't read if you're talking to me versus like I said Nada would be more like if you want to say you so if it said like um if you're talking i cannot read then you'd use nada so you could probably rearrange this in a way with nada that would still make sense um so it just depends on what you want to focus on in translation in general most of the ifs can be substituted depending on what you want to tell people right um Kind of like a lot of times mo and made probably could be switched between each other. They both mean even. That's probably a bad example. Um, so this is a hard kanji to read. It means to search. Do you have to know how to read it? Sagashite? Yeah, sagashi. sagashi. 
right? Nobody else, I got any kind of no, I got that. Nobody went up the stairs. I'm sorry, went, went up the stairs to look for um nobody. You know what sunao means? And sunao ni just adds ly to it. Sunao. Mito menai. I forgot, Molly. So now means um obedient or meek. So meekly or obediently. So the sentence says the person themselves probably will not obediently acknowledge that, will not meekly just acknowledge it, um, which was being used to describe nobody loving his house a lot but being a grumpy old man. So he 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 probably would be like. Psh. I'm I'm not I'm not happy to see here. No, I'm I'm a manly grumpy old man. As if I would say I love my house. Um, do you know how to read this word? Cloth. It does mean cloth. And I did hear the beginning sound, which is a N sound. No no. Yep, new no, perfect. Nice. Cloth is a hard one. You know what torikakaru means? Isoide. Harigane o toridashi. Doa no joma yabori ni torikakatta. That's another example of the ni that we saw earlier with the uh, um, agatte. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was uh, sagashi ni uh, kaida no um, agatte. This is like a random same grammar point there. To torikakaru in order to joma yaburi. I forgot this one, money. Okay, this means to begin. To start. So to start. Hi. So to start picking the lock of the door. Torikakatta. Um, how do you read this kanji? Sagashiteru. Perfect. Searching. Hi, and how about this word? To tori kakate. Hi, so it's uh, this is sasato to poops, folded too far in there. Tori kakata. What does that mean? To start taking. Hi, to take the to commence the start. Um, it does come from to begin taking. Um, but it really just means start. Um, as like an English word because take in English has a little bit too aggressive of a context when we're using kakadu here weirdly enough so like here for example he says I should hurry up and start while referring to a mountain of junk but you could say I have to hurry up and start taking the luggage and moving it out right uh, which would be the context of why we're using totori kakadu versus like a different verb so it does have that take connotation but in English that could be a little bit aggressive, right? I have to hurry up and start. Uh, it'd be better to hurry up and start taking. Sounds weird. <laughs> Versus I should just hurry up and start. But you're right. There, There's a take meaning embedded in there, which is why you'd use that versus another word. Um, what did sunao mean? Sunao is calmly mm. or meekly. Yes, perfect, perfect. Now you get to go read our last sentence of the day. Ore wa tsunao ni nuno o sagashite kite tori kakata. Sagashite and then followed by kite. He's searching this way. He's mm, searching. Hi, hi, hi. That, that is correct. So there is a very interesting use with. um. Kudu, when you are the subject of the sentence. I did not actually mention this before, so I should have made this into a grammar point. So when the speaker uses kudu, that means a round trip. For example, a girl, someone might say, tore ne itte kudu, which means I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to come back. <laughs> which if you say it, I'm going to say, tore ne, tore ne itte itte. that means I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm not coming back. <laughs> Goodbye, I'm going to jump out the window. <laughs> So you use kudu to say, I'm going to be right back after I tagasu for the nuno. Hey, I see. So I'll go search and I'll be back.
uh, au revoir. So I will calmly search for the cloth and I'll be back. Tori kakate. I will begin. Hi. I and you can calmly see commit. this is in past tense. So so was the previous clause. So um, the tenses of things are always in the back of the sentence. So can you retranslate this line for me? I calmly search for the cloth and came back. Uh, let me do it again. Right. I calmly start Tid, searching for the cloth. That's a good guess, but back. with the kite here, that actually makes an aggressive separation between these two actions. So normally this would be happening at the same time, you're correct. But the kite is almost like a comma, but we're just saying these are very closely related actions. So he came back. So right when he came back, so the, the same thing happened. <laughs> so basically he started as he came back is what happened but he came back from that so it's kind of like these two separations is how i would separate this so i looked for the cloth and started when i came back what do you think he started doing on his way back toward nebody i calm down i calm down as no I came so back. now so now me does not mean to do to become sunao. That'd be like sunao ni naru or something. Right? There's no naru here. There's no um naru to become in the sentence. We got the verb sunao, I mean the noun. Sunao na. It's probably a na adjective. Um sunao, which means meek or obedient. And I was allowing calm because that does fit in the context. It means he did what nobody said without complaining, right? That is the meekly do something, do calmly. Do what you should be doing. Ni, of course, is a adverb marker for na adjectives and nouns. It means we're describing how he did the action, which was sagasu. So he searched calmly. He searched obediently. He searched meekly. I meekly searched for the cloth, and when I and as I was coming back to where nobody was, I started. What do you think Hi. he's supposed to be using? He this started for? to harau. He wipes Hi, hi, hi. The command before he's starting harau. to wipe. So yes, we're using the toru here to take because he took the cloth, right? And he's beginning an action with the cloth he took. So that's how that toru and kakari was used. Like for, for example, before he took the lock picks and was using that for his action. So toru kakari basically means to start using an item i guess is how you could think about it. so he started using the cloth is kind of what it means so yeah exactly he's he start he's going to start dusting and that is where we're going to drop off but i think i'm going to ask you what this word means before we go what does that mean oh it's it means Calm down. I, and how about tsunao? How is that different than otsutsuki? To be obedient. Hi, hi, hi. Perfect. So if you don't have any context, they do look pretty much the same, but there's a little bit difference in the internal mindset of the characters. So perfect. That is where we're going to stop. Um, any questions before we go? One question, mommy. One question? No question. Bye.